Hello everyone, this is Jalapeno, and welcome to another tutorial for the EVCraft uh, mod pack. Uh, I'm going to be showing you today the changes we've made to Tinker's Construct, um, which is actually using a new add-on called Iguana Tweaks. Uh, the links to the information and stuff will all be in the uh, YouTube comment uh, section, or description I should say. Um, so, I mean, if you want to read up stuff, you'll know where to find it. Uh, a lot of you have had questions and a little bit of confusion about how the new system works, so I'm going to kind of show you how everything operates. Um, I'm going to assume, for most people, you at least know the basics of Tinker's Construct. Um, I'll run through a little bit of the basics, but I'm going to kind of whip through this quickly, because my first attempt at doing this was 48 minutes long, and I want to try doing this again without it taking so long. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is all these items here. Uh, you need a crafting station, doesn't matter what it is. It could be just a regular crafting table. Uh, you need a stencil table. You need a part builder. You need a tool station. And this is optional, but I highly recommend having a pattern chest. All the recipes for these four items, or five items I should say, can be found in NEI. Um, you'll also uh, when you first join the server, you should have a book called Materials in You. It automatically uh, spawns with you, um, and it gives you some basic information about Tinker's Construct. If you no longer have this book, uh, it's not a big deal. You can actually recraft it using just a blank pattern and a piece of paper, and a pattern is just basically four sticks. Um, so it's really easy to recreate the book. So, um, to get started, just to let you know how the mechanics have changed, I have a standard vanilla stone pickaxe. Um, you know, if you've played Minecraft before, which I hope you have, you would basically figure, well, I should be able to mine stone, uh, iron, maybe uh, copper in the mod, things like that. But things have severely changed. If I'm trying to mine stone now, uh, I can do it, but it's insanely slow. It's actually moving at the speed you would expect if it just wasn't going to drop anything. And in fact, if we were using the, uh, the, the default settings, you wouldn't even get the cobblestone mining with the stone axe. Um, but I change that just to make people's lives a little bit easier. Um, but basically, stone and wood tools do virtually nothing for you. They're still important when you're getting started, but you want to upgrade relatively quickly. Um, the nice thing is, though, is that there are actually um, new materials you can use, assuming you're using Tinker's Construct. Um, that allow you to uh, start being able to do uh, faster and better mining quicker um, than requiring iron or diamond. If you don't want to use Tinker's Construct and are a little confused about it, my best suggestion to you is simply vote on the server. Uh, you do two votes and you'll get four diamonds, which is more than enough to make a diamond pickaxe, which will allow you to mine basically anything you need until you get to a point uh, you're comfortable with uh, you know, using Tinker's Construct, and because you can vote up to five times a day, that's enough to make three diamond pickaxes a day if you're using all your diamonds towards that. So, if you want to do vanilla and don't want to listen to this, that's your way to do it. Alright, so, um, what we are going to do is, first you would start off making stencils. Stencils basically are are patterns that are used for all the different parts of a tool. Uh, quickly looking in the book, upgrade the book. This just takes it to the section where now it actually tells you about the tools and materials. Um, you can recraft the book several times to get further and further into the introductions. But uh, we want to create a pickaxe. So a pickaxe requires a pickaxe head, a tool rod, and a tool binding, which is very standard if you use Tinker's Construct before. Um, some of the things that have changed is that you can't use wood to make a pickaxe head anymore. It has to be at the bare minimum stone. Um, but what you'll want to do is you want to create stencils uh, by putting some blank patterns in the side here. And then on the right here, you actually get to be able to pick your stencils. Just choose the patterns that you want. Um, in this case, we need, um, let's actually make a few more patterns. So we've got 16 patterns now, so I'll throw these in here. We need a tool binding pattern, we need a pickaxe head pattern, and we need a tool rod pattern, which I actually think was, there we are. That's all you need um, 
as far as patterns go to start and we would toss them in the pattern chest. I already have them here so I'm not going to bother doing it again. Um, I just wanted to show you um, those are what you need. Then in the part builder, this is where you craft your initial parts. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, first we need to choose a pickaxe head. Uh, in this case, the, the lowest one I can use is actually not stone. Uh, it's flint. Um, flint will basically allow me to uh, to basically mine what you would expect uh, an iron pickaxe to be able to do. What am I doing? There we go. Flint pickaxe head. All right. And uh, you'll notice if I put this back, it tells me what it's capable of mining. Um, then we also need to use a pattern, which I don't think can be flint. I think it can be wood. There's lots of other materials besides wood. Uh, eventually you'll want to switch to metals, but just to start we have those. And then the tool rod, uh, we'll use wood as well. So this is going to be a fairly weak axe, but it's the easiest one to get started with. Um, the stone uh, the stone pickaxe head uh, I keep screwing this up okay the stone pickaxe head I don't believe you can use for actually crafting a pickaxe uh, but it can be used for making your uh, your cast of items for when you want to make metallic versions of the heads which is a little bit more advanced than what we're gonna deal with here um, but if you're wondering how the hell do I make a you know a, an iron cast of a pickaxe head uh, making the stone one will allow you to be able to make the molds and all that. So, in any case, to uh, set this all up, we basically, up here, we pick that we want to make a pickaxe, put it in our head, our binding, and our tool rod, and even though it's not showing up here, clicking on it should open it up, but because it doesn't, uh, you can all laugh at me. So, what, what am I doing? All right. Um, leave I just need to use a slightly stronger handle let's try I know bone will work uh, but for some of you who haven't been finding skeletons that might be a little hard to find I believe cobblestone will still work for this too I'll just grab both of these just to see exactly what will work uh, tool rod and we will make a stone tool rod and we'll make a bone one just in case as well. This will actually give me a chance to show you some other cool features that comes with this. So we'll use a stone tool rod first. And assuming that was going well, it would actually let me do this. Uh, the binding is probably the problem here. We will get this done. All right, and we will do bone ones of this too. Uh, we can't. Uh, if you go to the Iguana Tweak site, in the feature section it actually has a list of the restrictions of what materials can be used for what components. Um, so if I actually had that open like a smart person would, it, this would actually be a little easier for me. Not sure why it's giving me such difficulty here. this out. Alright, I don't know what it is. It might just be a drag and drop bug. Um, I actually, as opposed to just clicking and putting them in, oh, well, it's just working miraculously now. Either way, I shift clicked it in and uh, now it's actually working. I'm also going to give this a name uh, first. Pickaxe. And uh, there we go. So now I have my new axe, and you'll notice a few different things about it. First off, it's got my name, the, the name of the axe. Uh, it's got the mining level that it works with. Um, the skill level is clumsy. Uh, I'm not sure how high the skill levels go, but uh, that's an important component. And XP basically is how much experience your axe needs in order to level up. Now, to level up, it's exactly how you think it would be is you just have to mine with it and you get one XP per block and yes
yes, it is still insanely slow. Um, it's uh, part of it is the materials that I'm using. But it's just one of those things you have to put up with when you're first starting off. Um, if this gets annoying for you, again, you can always do the uh, the diamond pickaxe first. Um, just to kind of get your uh, groove on and immediately move up to the more uh, metallic items. Uh, but ideally, if you want stuff to uh, think faster, if you look in the materials in your book, there's a whole section regarding... Um, um, the uh, the different materials and what exactly they offer. So actually, let's just head back to my home. So if uh, when we're actually building the material and say we're looking at a pickaxe head and say I wanted to make a stone head. Um, now again, these can't be used in actual axes right now, but this is just for. Um, you know, for educational purposes, you'll notice here it mentions a mining speed of three. Well, if I swap that out and I put in flint, it's got a mining speed of four, which is really not that much higher than stone, but it is slightly faster. Um, and then with the tool rods, um, there's different, uh, you know, modifiers that get attached to it as well. So because I'm using you know, sticks, like sticks, for example, is a mining speed of one when you're using on the handle, so it really slows my axe down. Um, so you're actually better off using higher level rods and stuff like that. So we're actually going to try that now and see how that works, um, because if we make a, if we use a bone rod, how does that work out for us? Uh, we can't. Okay, um, what if we use it for the handle? That's my problem. Um, yeah, the handle has a mining speed of four. And in rod form, it also has a mining speed of four. So if I'm using a complete bone handle, I should no longer lose my, uh, uh, such a, I shouldn't have such a decrease in my skill. Now to actually uh, fix, uh, basically if, um, one of the new things that Iguana Tweaks offers is the ability to actually swap out components. So this pickaxe, uh, it gets stronger and stronger as you level it up, but you don't necessarily want to make a basic pickaxe, spend days leveling this, this thing up, and then go, okay, well now I want to switch to iron, or I want to switch to uh, an alloy type of pickaxe, and now I have to start all over. Not anymore. Um, so the first thing we have to do is we actually have to prepare the axe, um, which is based on whatever material the uh, pickaxe head is made of. So because we used flint, I'm just going to drop some flint in here, and that lets me uh, repair the uh, the axe back up to full. Uh, doesn't require any experience or anything, so this is an easy way to repair stuff without uh, having to use an anvil. So then what I want to do is I want to swap out, say, the wood for the uh, the bone tool, and then I also want to. I did not make a bone binding, did I? All right, so let's make a bone binding. Uh, oh, it doesn't let me. So never mind. All right, so I'm just gonna make the uh, the tool bone rod for now, and let's see if I can throw a stone binding in there too. No, it gets mad at me, so we'll just take that for now. So now, in theory, although I don't know how much of a noticeable difference you will see, I should actually be able to mine this stuff a little faster. And yes, I know, it is very abysmal. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you're first starting off. Um, it does improve significantly moving on, and I'm actually looking at uh, modifying some of the lower level stuff so this does mine faster, so it doesn't drive you guys nuts, but uh, that is how you do it. So basically what winds up happening is um, with the new system, you create your basic axe, you swap out materials as you get improvements to it, and then eventually you will level up. Um, the axe, which I'm going to show you. This is my iron pickaxe I've been using for a couple hours now. Um, 
it leveled up once, so now I'm at skill level comfortable. Um, it got a bonus, um, which is which happens randomly whenever you level up your axe or your weapon. Uh, so it's got actually uh, reinforced too, so it's got higher durability. Uh, when I leveled it up as well, it gave me access to a mod slot. A uh, mod slot is basically a modifier that allows you to change um, attributes of the uh, the tool itself or the weapon. In my case, I actually selected auto repair, which you get from uh, from mossy stone blocks. I don't have enough anymore, but if you have nine of them, you make one of these balls of moss, and you take the ball of moss, and you basically would take your axe here you put your ball of moss in there and that would give you the auto repair feature now note you will not be able to do that until you've leveled up your axe at least once uh, but the modifications will carry over from swapping materials out um, so once you have it there you never have to change it and the beauty of something like auto repair although this is part of the standard tinkers construct and look how fast this uh, this does stuff so once you get to iron level your life becomes a lot easier so yeah, I recommend starting with diamond and just using your uh, your new TC axe uh, to uh, to do ores and stuff because those still mine relatively quickly, or you know just suck it up and pay a few dollars in game, uh, and, you know game dollars that is to just buy some iron from someone, uh, make a smelter and smelt it. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do the iron stuff. It's basically the same way. Uh, you would normally do the uh, the non-iron items, but uh, obviously you have to use a smelter, but that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Uh, again, I wanted to keep this thing short, uh, but I will be doing a full uh, a, a full mod spotlight on Tinker's Construct so you can all figure out exactly what all these things are if you know nothing about it. But if you're just starting off, this is how you get your initial axes, your initial tools, and uh, yeah, and then once you start getting into the metallic components, it, this actually becomes a godsend for you, especially when you're dealing with uh, weapons as well. Um, all right, well, if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the server or in the comment section of the uh, of the video. Uh, if, please subscribe to the channel um, and be sure to like it, share it, you know, all those other wonderful things, so I can be encouraged to continue to do these for everyone. And have a good one.